Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. And today, we are back on the world. And this is basically, since the stream that happened the other day, yeah, I've, I've basically been just been trying to... <laughs> Excuse me. I basically, since uh, last time you, we were here, so if you missed the stream, basically we started working on tearing out this mountain. And if you're at the stream, since then I, what have I done? Basically, if we head up here, which we'll see in a second, that I, wait, why is there a bird named Phil? I think I've seen that bird before in episodes and I never quite figured out where it's from. Anyway, so if we come up here, you can basically see I just dug a ton of dirt and I started excavating certain part. There was, oh yeah, up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I do believe I still have the plague, but anyway, yeah, I started digging it out, and um, I've mentioned that this is going to be most likely the future Theris and Asaurus enclosure. I'm somewhat regretting that decision at this point in the construction because this is like ridiculously difficult to dig out. Like there is mount of well, <laughs> ironic I'd say that there's a mountain of material between us and the exhi what the exhibit will be. It's not like I'm actually deciding to just tear out part of a mountain because, I don't know, I was foolish and said I would do it. But I mean, we've come quite a ways. I mean, if we go over here, you can see where the mountain used to be, so... What is it? Like, eight pickaxes and twelve shovels later, I've dug out a... let's see, how big... how wide is it this? The widest point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31 by, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. A 31 by 25 block area is how much of this I've dug out already. And if we quickly head up to the top of the mountain, you will see, like we did a second ago, like I am, I've scratched the surface barely of this mountain. So, at least what I can say is, it looks like our Therizinosaurs are going to have a very large enclosure when I am done with it. Which I think they should rather enjoy. However, that is mostly... Ah, okay, so basically before this episode started, I started recording this. I'd already been building, or not building, digging for... Let's see, I started this at around 3.30. So I've been digging for around 45 minutes and I barely made a dent. And because of that, and I was feeling somewhat disheartened because I was like, this is rather depressing. I've done nothing really. It's going to be a very long time before we really get anywhere. Hopefully, um, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna pre-record next episode of this basically just because I really don't wanna just keep digging for the next episode. I kind of want to move it along. I mean, it'll definitely prolong things. I mean, but I mean, there's even a point to, of which I don't even want to record something anymore. I'm impressed with myself. Somehow, I managed to plant a spruce tree on a piece of cobblestone. How did I... Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how I did that. I mean, if I have the power to make trees grow out of rock, I mean, hey, I'm pretty much a wizard. I'm pretty much a wizard, Harry. Pretty much a wizard. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, I don't really want to work on digging the mountain out anymore at this point. At this point, I've been working on it for like total uh, like three, four hours already and nothing really has happened. I mean, this is this is why for next season, which actually I meant to speak about that like an episode ago, and I never did. 
I forgot. So, if you guys remembered, last week I was talking about what we're going to do potentially for what would be season six, or the sixth, or actually, I mean, I've mentioned this before. This would technically be, this is technically the sixth part. So the next one will be technically my seventh part, but the first season is gone from all existence. It will never come back because I no longer have the footage. I mean, I lost the footage a long time ago and everything. But anyway, I remember last week I was talking about what would you guys like to see for that? And there seemed to be a pretty resounding uh, yes to the idea of doing a more permanent world um, that I basically just work on for about, what What were you guys saying? I, my sounds are too loud. They're, they probably aren't for you guys, but for me they're up very loud and it, my ears are hurting. Um, anyway, so you guys were saying it seemed that you would enjoy seeing a world that we don't just spend a year on, but do something a bit more like Poet Plays or Ironstone Mine where we do a park that we work on for an extremely long time. Uh, several, you, several of you guys said I should do with Biomes of Plenty, and although that is a really cool idea, and I definitely do like Biomes of Plenty, it's a very interesting mod. I'm not necessarily sure, because I'm, I, I completely like the idea of doing a more permanent park, and as of now, I think that's what we're going to do. So, I don't know, maybe it will be a 300 episode park or so. I, I mean, that'd be insane, but if we, if we did get there, but anyway, so I just want to talk about, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit um if we do a permanent park i as cool as biomes of plenty would be i'm not sure we'd use it mainly because uh biomes of plenty tends to make terrain gambling a lot more uh difficult you i, I mean usually when i'm searching for even for this world searching for this one i made about 30 worlds went through them explored large chunks and then went back and saw if it was a world i wanted to build on with biomes of plenty it basically takes that and adds about four or five hours to that because biomes of plenty again adds biomes of plenty and makes it very difficult so i'm not sure that if we use but i'm not sure we're going to use biomes of plenty for it just purely because it's going to make everything very difficult. It would look cool, but it'd make things extremely difficult and more difficult than they should be. Where are these things coming from? Well, this will be changing soon, so that's good at least. Anyway, so, uh, something. Also, this, this, and this is all from the mountain. <laughs> that legit, that is all from the, just digging that out. It, it's crazy. I've got more resources than I'm I mean, what is it? With all the cobble in here, cobble and dirt in these chests, I have enough to probably make not just this area, but probably also the, uh, what else? The Hell Creek slash Judith River area as well. I mean, we've got tons of supplies. Anyway, so on to what I actually want to do this episode, which surprisingly is not digging out the rest of that mountain. Like I said, I'm tired of that mountain. That mountain is horrible. It's evil and it doesn't want to be dug up. Believe it or not, mountains, I guess, just aren't that interested in being destroyed. So instead, I've gathered a bunch of, uh, well, not a bunch, but a decent quality, a, a not decent quality, a decent amount of sand and sandstone. And so for the current time being, instead of digging up a mountain, we're going to start laying down the foundations of what is to be the new flaming cliffs area also i have a question for you guys would you guys be okay if said i used a said mod known as a world edit to potentially change this biome to desert away from the mountains and into a desert now i have a good argument for it or at least one i felt was good and part of it is that well one it snows in this biome, and and extreme hills. It snows. Now, yeah, that's not a super big problem for certain parts of the park. I mean, it looks kind of cool, and especially when we get up to the mount, um, the herb, not the herbivores, the mammals and stuff. It's gonna look really cool if we can get parts of it to snow. However, especially for this area, which is basically just meant to be a desert, I'm like, you know what? It might look a bit nicer if instead of this, we had a. Uh, a desert biome it'll also switch all the leaves to be brown which again looks really cool 
and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys would think, think about that. I think it'd be quite interesting. I now have to tear that entire wall out and rebuild it in sandstone so that way it fits with the aesthetic I'm going for. You know, th this is what I'm going to enjoy, something I'm going to enjoy looking back at. Because, I mean, something I enjoy looking back at at these, this series is I'll go and I'll find basically the first episode. If I start a big project like this, I did this one with Chinny myself. Um, after I uploaded the last episode working on it, I was like, you know, I want to see what I started with. So I went back, watched the first episode when all the terrain was still basically brand new. And then it's just interesting to watch that first episode where we started working on something like this. See what it looked like and then come back and see how different it's going to be. I mean, because this whole area, I mean, from that gate all the way over to that building, which is, I think, just going to be turned into the aquarium. It may still be an aquarium. I'm not sure. I'm figuring that out currently. But everywhere from that, that gate to this building will be turned basically into a mesa slash desert, which I think is going to look really, really cool. Some people were saying, yeah, I believe on the stream and comments of the a previous episode, they were saying I should cheat in some hardened clay. And I did say I was going to see if I could get a fortune pickaxe. If we do next time we do an enchant, I'll probably do that. But if I can't, I might actually, if I can't, I might actually just, you know, get some clay in. Mainly because I had an idea. Oh. I actually have something I wanted to show off this episode. I mentioned it on the live stream, so if you guys weren't there, you won't really understand why I've been doing this. But people have been asking about this, and I will have, if I completely remember to, there should be the link to the download in the description. But good old Avelardo, or as I have been given permission to call him, Avocado, he has made me some more custom textures for some dinosaurs. You guys are about to see those as well. He did really make one for the mammoth. Um, Parasaurolophus has one, and Dilophosaurus. I think those are the five that he currently has. Well, that and the Spinosaurus. But you guys have seen enough of the Spinosaurus to come already. Anyway, I'm going to show these off mainly because I was like, uh, you know what? I want to because they're going to be in the park at some point. And uh, the T-Rex is actually going to be our Tarbosaurus which we are hopefully going to throw in somewhere. I haven't really figured it out yet. Um, yeah, Tarbosaurus might not actually fit. Well, actually, if I do some insane landscaping, it might just fit. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to show these off. So, these are the... Yeah, so if you heard that, that, sh that sh should be a completely new sound to you. He has edited several new sounds in for some of these dinosaurs. And it's pretty cool. So, oh, what dinosaur? Uh, I actually specifically asked him about which dinosaur that was. I'm actually going to pull up the email he sent me with all the dinosaur names real quick. So that, or at least the ones I uh, haven't talked about yet. Oh gosh. It's lagging. It's Lugan. It's Lugan look crazy. It's Lugan look crazy, mate. Where is the email that I was sent containing the name of the dinosaur of which we are currently looking at? Because it was a specific one. Uh, Monolophosaurus. Monolophosaurus. That is what he said it was. Okay, there we go. But I like the custom sounds for this one. It looks pretty cool. The texture's interesting. It looks kind of like gravel, which is kind of cool. But anyway, that is one of the new creatures. They still have the Dilo attack sounds, which is unfortunate. I mean, it still is the Dilophosaurus, so it's going to spit and everything as well, but it's cool. The next one we have up is Parasaurolophus, which, if we look, if you can see, it has been retextured to be Iguanodon. So basically, he got rid of the crest, and I think it looks pretty cool. So we will definitely be getting iguanodonts, and because you guys correctly reminded me that Hypsilophodon lived in the same environment as these guys, we might have a small European or at least British part of the park where we have the iguanodon and uh, Hypsilophodon together. They do also have custom sounds in here. 
They again have the texture uh, like the Monolophosaurus uh, that's similar to ground floor, at least I think it looks like that. Fine, next up we have his mammoth, which I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit bizarre. I think he said I could use this as basically any prehistoric mammoth that wasn't, well, covered in fur, so you can basically make it whatever you guys want. But yeah, this is the, uh, I, I mean, it looks cool. It definitely does look cool. He's put a lot of detail into it. But we're gonna kill this real quick and get on to the two I personally like the most. They look really cool, I think. And we're gonna go with the, what is currently, Bra well, what is called Brachiosaurus, but we're going to use as a Puertasaur. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at that. That looks so cool. It looks like it's part of the Sfax texture pack, which I like a lot because I personally love Sfax. It's one of my favorites. But yeah, I love this Puertasaur, the texture he made for it to be a Puertasaur. It looks really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. It's very, very cool. Unfortunately, this mob has so much health that it's going to take a while to kill him. Come on, come on. That sound gets annoying very fast. Okay, and finally, we have the T-Rex, which is Tarbosaurus. And <laughs> you guys have to admit, <laughs> this skin looks pretty sick. It looks super cool. And he even, I don't know if that was meant. It's got custom, not custom textures, custom sounds as well, which is awesome. So it's gonna be very cool to see this roaming around in the Tarbosaurus exhibit when that gets built. But I think he's textured it to look like feathers. At least I think it looks kind of like feathers. So that's awesome. I love how it looks. It, it looks so cool. It kind of looks like, if you guys have seen How to Train Your Dragon, it looks a little bit like Toothless, which I think looks pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, that's the Tarbosaurus. I hate the death sound. If you're, if you're wearing headphones, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, so links to the, all those textures will hopefully be in the uh, description down below, if I have correctly remembered to do that. If they aren't, they will be put in there when I realize I forgot. Anyway, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's the textures that Evlardo has made for me. They're awesome, and I can't wait to get them in my park, especially the Tarbosaurus. I have to say, I mean, the Puertasaurus is pretty sick, but I have to say the Tarbosaurus is my favorite of them all, and I seriously cannot wait till uh, this place is done and we can throw that in there. It's gonna look so cool, and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna kind of balance the shift of, I guess you could say, uh, tourist attraction in the park so you know down there we've got uh what is it down in south that way we've got spinosaurus and sucumimus so two big carnivores to attract people there over here we'll have tarbosaurus over all the way in that direction actually what direction is that that is uh where's the thing that says which direction it is it's east okay so to the east we have spinosaurus to the north, we're going to have, eh, more to the north, uh, east, we're going to have Tyrannosaurus Rex. To the, probably more actual north, we're probably going to have Allosaurus. And then out to the west, we're going to have the Tarbosaurus, which is sick. Uh, thank you. So, Evario, I'm assuming you're watching this. Thank you, dude, so much for those textures. They are absolutely awesome. <laughs> He's done, you have done a fabulous job with them, and I like them quite a bit. Yeah. I have a lot of sand I've just realized I got a place. I mean, it's not gonna be all sand. It'll be a mixture between sand, some dirt and grass, some stone and stuff, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to build. But I think, I think this is gonna be a very cool area when it's finished. Mainly because um, even the other areas, like the Judith River slash Hell Creek area, that's going to be primarily swamp-like. I mean, okay, yes, I know the whole volcanic thing isn't the most realistic, but we are going to do a volcano type thing for our T-Rex exhibit because I want to do it and it is up to me what gets built. So, you know, we're going to do at least somewhat volcanic for that. But I mean, aside from an exhibit like that, most of it's going to be swampland, forest, or plain. So it's going to be very similar environments for most of the dinosaurs. And that's why I'm so in, that's why I decided to do this one first, mainly because, well, this area is going to be super unique. It's going to be the far off corner of the world that, you know, is 
different. It is a completely different environment than we have over here. And I can't wait for that to be done. Anyway, I think we're gonna end today's episode off here. We didn't really get much done. This, I mean, this was kind of meant more to originally be a showcasing off of the textures and I did that. And I really don't have any other ideas of what I'm gonna do. Mainly because <laughs> I don't really, I've, I've been already digging and stuff in this area for so long like continuously that I really don't want to keep working here for uh, at least another day or so but I'll, I'll eventually finish it well I hope I eventually finish it I mean I'm probably gonna get rid of try and dig out most of the mountain before next episode so that way when we come back it's all basically dug up and we can really start construction on the whole area so that'll be things like uh, the first fences most of the terrain yeah, changing all the terrain up, um, figuring out where I'm going to put the Tarbosaurs. I think the Velociraptors are going to move. Oh, I mentioned that. I'm actually going to mention a couple things, I guess. We'll continue a little bit longer just to go over some plans. I mean, if I wanted to, I was always planning on extending the ground out here. The ground could always be extended, and this could be the Tarbosaurus area. It would actually look kind of cool to have it go down into a bit of a valley down here. Yeah, extend the coastline out, and then... If I dug this part out to about here, it could be very cool to have it be like the desert suddenly slopes down into a valley and down here the Tarbosaurs roam. Or Taborosaurs, Tarbosaurs, Taborosaurs, whatever. Anyway, I'm thinking, and this is more to fit with the nocturnal theme of the Velociraptors. Since they are nocturnal, I'm potentially thinking of keeping this. This whole like compy area. The compies are moving, no doubt. They are moving over... I know they're not from the Morrison, but we're going to move them into the Morrison area just because they'll fit there. But, um, I was thinking, well, I really like this little, like, you know, cave. It's cool. It's, you know, it's different. It's like, you know, this whole area. It's meant to be a different, very bizarre environment for the dinosaurs. And I think we could keep the raptors in here. I mean, not in this state. We're going to take out most, we're going to take out the lusciousness of it. I'm going to expand it out that way and not out that way but out that way and maybe even further back over this direction it's gonna have a little exit out to the surface somewhere or like to out of the cave um that may even be out right here because i'm think if i do the torpasaur i tarpasaur idea and it's right there then yeah there could just be a small little part right here where the velociraptors can get like come out of the cave and stuff but I'm thinking that would be very cool. Also, if they spend a lot of time in the cave, it would make sense that they go in there to sleep during the day and everything. I think that'd be really cool. Well, anyway, we're gonna end today's episode off here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, what I've got planned for this uh, little section of the park. I hope it turns out um, as good as I'm hoping it will if I can uh, actually get the work done. But anyway, guys, hope you've all enjoyed again. Hope to see you in the next episode. And until next time, guys. See ya.